Meanwhile in Africa. Well, this is Sunday morning and I'm sitting close to a local church listening to the worship and oh, what a what an incredible comfort and hope is. Um, people sing hymns of hope, reminding each other that God's word is always yes and amen. And it's so important for us to hold on to that message. Yesterday, Bindu and I went to Katembe very early in the morning on our motorbikes and the mountains. I mean, we sat on the back of the motorbikes. <laughs> and it was a particular horrendous trip because as we started climbing the mountain, we were just engulfed by mist and soft rain. But we made it safely and we had a third motorbike with us with a huge pile of blankets and mosquito nets. For the first time in history, people brought blankets into Katembe. And I tell you, we watching that grandmothers and those widows coming and receiving their blankets, holding onto them as if it was the most precious, precious thing they've ever seen. Well, just two days before that, we washed blankets and we washed clothing because there was a huge scabby outbreak in the community. And you could treat the children's skins, but you also have to wash everything. And when we were hanging the blankets up in the trees to dry, I could see right through them. They were so thin. And so I understood, I understood the preciousness of these grandmothers holding onto these blankets, knowing that tonight they will sleep warm. But it wasn't the highlight of my day as much as I loved it. No, I, I met Mahoro that morning, six years old. Her mother was a victim of rape and Mahoro was born high up in the mountains in a little clinic. Soon after her birth, her mom left her because she had serious mental challenges. Mahoro was left to die until uh, a good Samaritan in the community who's already looking after many other children picked her up. As Mahoro stood next to me, she was just a bit higher than my knee and I was told she was six years old. I stretched my hand out and I touched Mahoro's hand and her eyes told me so much. We invited her into a program and about three hours later I watched Mahoro in our feeding point digging into beans and um, soft porridge and vegetables staring at all the people around her. Her life literally changed within minutes. That's what happens when beautiful feet cross unknown territory, push beyond the mist and the rain, and believe that there's a God of hope. This morning, I need that hope as much as Mahoro. I hold on to that hope. Double, double, double dot hands at work dot org.